Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into the WBC world title fight between uh, Julio Cesar Martinez uh, and Angelina Cordova. Found some content on Cordova. Uh, he fought once on a Golden Boy card. I found some other fight from 2019. Uh, we're going to get into that. But please, uh, Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes at you for every major fight, for every major card, showing you how to bring down the house. The boxing odds makers, the bookies, they don't know how to handicap this sport. They don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to consistently show you how to make money on this sport and how to get rich betting boxing. Uh, before we get into all that, uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, just uh, That's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Just as a heads up, I don't gamble, uh, but if you do, and if you gamble on sports, I'm going to show you how to consistently uh, make money and bring down the house. Um, we use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, uh, but I'm going to I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> make money here um, on the sport of boxing. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, a fan favorite, uh, fighting largely unknown um, Angelina Cordova. Uh, if if you do know who he is, it's it's likely you know who he is uh, because he beat uh, Angel Acosta. Uh, Angel Acosta is uh, Puerto Rican flyweight, some good wins. Uh, he got destroyed by uh, Junto Nakatani, uh, but he's he's had some good wins in the past. He's, he's a pretty touted guy. Uh, he got knocked out by Elwin. Uh, no, yeah, he got knocked out by Alvin Soto uh, in 2019. Uh, but he, he got on and he, and he touted a guy, did some things. Um, never really panned out like we thought he might. He's going to be fighting Cordova. Uh, I'm sorry. He lost to Cordova and Cordova's best win. Uh, besides that, Cordova really has nothing on the resume. Uh, he's from Venezuela, I believe. Venezuela. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, Caracas, Venezuela. Um, before that, he fought at Kissimmee, Florida. That was in 2022. And he got a split decision over a guy named Axel Aragon Vega. Um, untelevised car. Jonathan Gonzalez fought in the main event. It's a Gary Jonas, uh, Felix uh, Zabala card uh, that they have there in, in Florida. Uh, it's untelevised as far as I know. Najee Lopez fought on that card. Um, n- none of that's really important. Okay. Um, and Julio Cesar Martinez, a- everybody knows. He he just took a beating to Chocolatito Gonzalez. Uh, but he's a good fighter. He's, he's a really, really good fighter. Um, he's fun, come forward, action fighter, uh, former world champion, was in line for a lot of big fights. Uh, got the Chocolatito fight and then got crushed in that fight. Uh, he missed weight as well in that fight, um, which kind of left a bad taste in people's mouth. Um, since then, he's gone 2-0. and he, he picked up a decision in Glendale, Arizona over Samuel Carmona. Uh, uh, that was for the WBC uh, World Flyweight title. And he's had that belt, and he went up to 115 to fight Chocolatito. It didn't work out for him. Um, yeah, that was on the uh, – I don't remember. That was on uh, Estrada Chocolatito 3 card uh, in late 2022. And then he fought in Mexico early this year, scored an 11th-round knockout of Ronald Batista. Uh, fun, high-action fighter uh, known as El Rey. It's a close-up, quick starter, like I said, big puncher, lots of combinations. He can switch southpaw and conventional. Uh, he's real subtle with how he switches up. I'm not a huge fan of guys switching up unless you can do it, and he can do it. Um, he won the, like I said, he won the WC World Flyweight title. Uh, for, uh, oh, he beat Christopher Rosales for it in 2019. Uh, he's got a win over Charlie Edwards as well. That's I'm trying to see. Yeah, he's got a win over Charlie Edwards. I guess. Is that when he won the title? It says vacant. 
against Christopher Rosal. Oh, he's okay. Uh, I forgot him. Uh, he destroyed Charlie Edwards, uh, and it was changed from a, a, a KO3 uh, to a no contest after he hit Edwards with a body shot while Edwards was on a knee. Uh, then he fought, you know, he had to vacate the belt when, when the ruling was changed, um, and he fought uh, Rosales. And he stopped Rosales at nine. Um, that was probably on the undercard of uh, Daniel Jacobs and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. To put that in reference, how long ago that was. Um, then he came back in 2020, right before the pandemic, at the Star in Frisco, and uh, outclassed Jay Harris, and then uh, on until he looked really good. Until he got in with Chocolatito, and Chocolatito uh, pummeled him, uh, took him to school. You know, he, he's a good fighter. Um, you know, he's got good hand speed, doesn't move his head much. He's a really easy target to hit. Like I said, he's schooled by, a, you know, if you get a real good technician in there, uh, a real good, you know, he can be outboxed. Um, he, he's got a lot of flaws that can be exposed, but he, what he does, he's really good at it. Like I said, he's, he's a huge hitter. He's exposed. He doesn't go to the body much. If you really watch him, he's not really a body puncher. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, looping shots and leaping shots. You know, uh, he's a high, those high risk, high reward type shots. Uh, he's a pressure fighter. He pushes forward, throws from all angles. Um, he's got a shotgun jam. He just doesn't use it enough. Like, there's a lot to like about Julio Cesar Martinez, uh, but he's got a lot of flaws too. Like, he leaves himself wide open to be hit. And that's what makes this fight so interesting. Because Angelina Cordova out of Venezuela um, – also gets really aggressive. He lunges in. He's easy to check hook. He's sitting there to be hooked. Um, he uses the ring. He moves a lot. He's got a really good chin, which he's going to need because he's going to hit a lot. And that's what kind of makes me think this fight might go long. And we're going to get into the over-under on this fight, too. Um, yeah, again, he, he doesn't jab it up, but he throws a lot. He throws a lot of combinations. Um, if you go back to his fight, I watched the 2018, 2019, he jabbed a lot more. Um, so maybe it was just the Acosta fight where he wasn't using his jab. There's not a lot of content on him to go look for. Uh, he throws in flurries. Uh, he's got this kind of amateur style where he jumps in, flurries, flurries tries to score, and, and, and hops out. Um, he's got a great gas tank, although it doesn't look like he's a huge puncher. It looks like he's got, you know, decent power, I guess, maybe. He just doesn't look like a puncher. Um, like he's, but, he, but he's busy. You know, um, if you're going to win rounds, you're going to win rounds on volume. I just think he's going to get caught. He's going to get clipped at some point. Julio Cesar Martinez is a much bigger hitter. And when both guys are flawed fundamentally, uh, the bigger hitter, I, I think, is usually going to win. Uh, the guy with, with, with real power is going to win. And uh, Julio Cesar Martinez has real power. It's just, it's just going to take one to really change the fight. And I, I see that happening probably late in the fight. It could go the distance. It certainly could go. Like I said, both guys have a really good chin. Um, both guys can eat big shots. Both guys throw big shots. So this is going to be a fun fight. This fight was, was made really, really, really well. Uh, it's going to be a fun, entertaining fight. This is on the David Merrill card in, in Minnesota. Um, so check that out. Let's, uh, let's pull up the book on this. Let's pull up the odds on this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over nine and a half. Uh, this is kind of a risky bet, um, but the odds are good. Uh, we can go under ten and a half, under nine and a half, but the odds are actually worse. Um, you know, both guys have gone the distance. Cordova goes the distance uh, with Acosta, and before that he went the distance with, with a no-name guy. Um, and uh, Julio Cesar Martinez went 11 rounds with – Ronald Batista, he went 12 rounds with Sam Well Carmona. He went 12 rounds with Ramon Gonzalez. Um, and he went 12 rounds with Jay Harris. So, you know, he hasn't really gotten a ton of knockouts recently. I know you guys look at the Andrew Selby, Christopher Rosales, Charlie Edwards. But it's a long time ago, guys. Uh, you know, I, I think people have kind of caught on to him. He's still explosive. He's still dangerous. But you can avoid his artillery. I, I think you can push him deep into the fight. I, I, I think, you know, it goes more than nine and a half, although it's a dangerous bet. And uh, I, I certainly think Julio Cesar Martinez is going to win. You know, uh, I, I like Cordova as a fighter. I just can't see him doing enough to win this fight. So the bet is 
one times bet, so in this case, $100 on JC Martinez. That's going to make you about 18 18 And then a one times bet on the over, that's going to make you 90 90 We're doing math here. It's going to make you about $109, which is all bad. It's not bad. You know, uh, but we we need to go over nine and a half. I wouldn't take Martinez on a decision, although it pays kind of well. I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I would I would I, I would think this fight's going to go deep into the fights because both guys, you know, like I said, I, I think Cordova's going to do okay. He's going to have some moments, but ultimately he's going to lose. Uh, but he's got a really good chin. He's got an excellent gas tank, so I think the fight goes deep in the fight. And Martinez hasn't been disposing of guys quickly. So um, I don't love the over 9.5. I wish the odds were a little better, but that's what they are. I, I do think it goes over 9.5, and, and that's the bet. Martinez on the over is going to pay us about $109 on a $200 bet. Uh, all right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie can be you for every major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house. It's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, it is December 14th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.